Welcome back to Exotic Car Play Place, everyone. Thanks for joining in again today. Have you ever wondered why used Audis are so cheap? You've probably been shopping for one. I know I was looking at some for a while back, and I found that there were some great deals out there. But don't let that be a trap. There's reasons why some of these used Audis are so cheap, and I'm going to get into five reasons why that is. Let's get into it now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Mark with Exotic Car Play Place, and today I will explain that there are a few exceptions to the rule for many of the RS models. If you're shopping for a TTRS, maybe an RS3, RS4, even an RS7, even though they all get inflicted with depreciation strongly, they do hold a much better value than some of the more mainstream vehicles, for example, like the Audi A4s. So let's just dive right into the first element, which is reliability. And how is it that reliability hits Audi so hard? Well, the fact of the matter is Audi is a luxury brand and they often use many different levels of technology and performance that some of the mainstream vehicles aren't quite tied in with yet. And some of that technology causes problems. For example, many Audis see a lot of issues with electronic problems, glitches, that can cause you a lot of money because electronic troubleshooting can often cause you cost a whole lot of cash when you're taking it into the dealer. It's not a quick fix. It's often not a quick parts replacement. It often takes hours in the shop to diagnose and troubleshoot electrical faults. Sadly, there's a lot of mechanical issues and it depends on the particular model you're looking at, but I'll give you a good example of one that does seem to afflict many cars and that's some of the earlier A4s. Things like timing chains breaking, water pumps failing, carbon fouling, O2 sensors, lots of different sensors and failures and mechanical issues, leaks, pan gasket leaks, valve cover gasket leaks, Lots of leaks from either oil or antifreeze have caused lots of reliability issues with some of the earlier versions of that 2.0 turbo four-cylinder engine that Audi created. They're starting to get a little bit better in the last generation, but leading up to that, they had a lot of problems. Let's also not forget that rust seems to set in with Audis and Volkswagen Group in general, so that is a problem, especially if you live in the northern states or Canada. Another thing that can actually hurt reliability is the pursuit of efficiency as well as cost-cutting measures. And like every brand, including BMW, that uses an extensive amount of plastic under the hood, that starts to take a toll, especially when you start combining that with turbochargers and the excessive amount of heat that can be found under an engine compartment. And sadly, many of these issues that you'll find in a 5, 10, 15 year old Audi cause these vehicles to just nosedive. And if you're a savvy buyer and a do-it-yourselfer, you can get one of these great Audis with a high level of performance and technology for a little bit more than a song and a dance. So the second reason why used Audis take a nosedive and are very, very cheap on the used car market is because of the expensive parts and maintenance. Now, unfortunately, a $100,000 Audi, five years later when it's only worth 10 grand, doesn't mean you're going to save all that money when you have to take it into the shop to get it repaired or you have to replace parts. All those parts still cost, assuming that car is a $100,000 part. Unfortunately, the dealers aren't gonna cut you a break either just because you bring in a beater. They're still gonna charge you their full shop rate to fix your $10,000 Audi. So unfortunately, the reality is the people that can actually afford to maintain these cars properly, even as they get older and they've got some miles and need a little more attention and loving, those people are the exact people that say, I'm done with it, I'm moving on to the next car. Time to upgrade, maybe buy the next greatest Audi. So they just move it along, and sadly, it hits a market to where only people that have a little bit less money available, possibly a little bit lower budget, are the ones now shopping for these cars. Sadly enough, they're the ones, coincidentally, that don't have the money to make the repairs. So you've gotta ask yourself, how many parents out there would allow their 17-year-old daughter or son to go out and throw $7,000 down on a 120,000 mile 12 year old Audi A4. Not me and not many parents that I know would allow that to happen in their household. Primarily because you know who's going to default with a lot of the repairs and payments. It's the parents, that's right. So at the end of the day, unless you can truly afford to maintain the car or you're a strong do-it-yourselfer, I personally wouldn't touch one of these cars with a 16 and 3 8 inch long pole. So a third reason why many used Audis hit the toilet after only a few short years is because new designs, new technology, new performance. Audi makes so many drastic changes and they create such great designs and great performing cars. I mean, a lot of the new cars now have the digital display, launch control, dual clutch transmissions, Q-stitch patterns on the leather interior, LED headlights, LED taillights, carbon fiber accents, large, slick, stylish new front grills, and many new performance enhancements and drivetrains that can launch you like you're getting fired out of a cannon. Unfortunately with Audi, the styles change just so quickly, it only takes a few years to look back at a five, six-year-old Audi and realize, 
Wow, that thing looks very dated compared to the newest model. Ouch. Now the fourth reason they depreciate so hard is they're essentially the essence of a Volkswagen. That's right, the VAG group, Volkswagen Audi group are largely compiled of very, very similar components. The cars are often very much the same. They're kissing cousins, really. Have you ever looked really close at an Audi A4? Compare it with a Volkswagen Jetta. Very similar, right? As a matter of fact, they're almost the same car. Big differences are the Audi gives you the fancier headlights, the fancier grill, they give you sports seats, and the quattro all-wheel drive system, where the Volkswagen strips it down a little bit. Usually you get the front-wheel drive. Some of them you can get the all-wheel drive, but essentially it's a more basic design theme. Seats are a little more flat, but even many of the base drivetrains are even the same. So at the end of the day, after you've owned the car for a few years, the glitz and the glamour wears off, you've got a few rock chips, you've got a few miles on the car, it doesn't take long for the owner to realize that the car isn't too far disconnected from a Volkswagen, and then realizes, why am I essentially driving the same car, paying increased maintenance costs, and not really getting a whole lot more out of the deal? Sadly, then this floods the market, and this results in additional competition for other sellers, driving the prices down even further. And so the fifth reason why Audis are so cheap on the used car market is simply for the fact that they were grossly overinflated to begin with. Why do they cost so much money in the first place? Well, luxury cars inherently are a little bit more dressed up. There's more technology, increased performance, but there's an additional buffer in there that's also not accounted for. And that usually is the design to pay for those fancy dealerships, the glossy floors, and we also can't forget about the fancy bidet in the bathrooms, fireplaces, the free beverages, the concierge service, the additional marketing, the grossly overinflated options list. And realistically, this is not unique for Audi, but those are the realities. So the fact of the matter is the cars are just overinflated. And after a couple of years of use, a little wear, a little tear, that inflation starts to settle in and it's that initial two-year depreciation rate that just really wallops the crap out of an Audi. Hence, you wind up with a value that's more in line with the mainstream cars. For example, like a Volkswagen. So realistically, not all Audis are endless money pits and a lot of them are great vehicles. There can be some phenomenal buys out there for the savvy buyer and the do-it-yourselfer. So this can actually work in your favor if you're shopping for a used Audi. That's right, there's some phenomenal deals out there. You've just gotta be smart about it. Check on the service history. Make sure you're satisfied with what you see, how it drives. Get a pre-purchase inspection if you're spending a few more bucks on that car to make sure you're not investing in a lemon. But at the end of the day, a great deal can be had for anyone looking for an amazing deal on a premium luxury car. And with all that said, just in case you're looking for a used BMW, bingo, right there, you're going to like that video. It's all about why used BMWs are so cheap. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Catch you real soon. Bye-bye.